Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Well, I'm not sure where you're watching, but here in Las Vegas, it's morning. It's 5.58 a.m. I actually beat Starbucks up. There was a line waiting for them to open. So I'm walking around, then I'm gonna grab a coffee, play a slot machine, and make it happen. Pack your bags, cause we're heading way out west to the city that never takes a rest. Don't and Heather, we're gonna have a blast in the neon lights where the memories last from the strip to downtown. We'll explore it all, sharing every moment, big and small. Vegas flaws, watch us take on the town with every video. The excitement's found. Make it happen. Morning checklist, coffee, checks. Come up with salt and caramel cold screw. It's pretty good. I'm gonna play a couple of games and then figure something out. That is how you make it happen. We got destroyed yesterday, but now we're back. We got money to play with. We got time to play with. We got Javier's later. We got Mother Wolf this evening. Oh, that was amazing. Make it happen. Make it happen. Live your blessed life. I got my lucky hat on. Make it happen with Don style. Yeah. Uh oh, here comes Heather with her Starbucks. Wait till she sees this. <laughs> what is? You know why? Stand next to the panda fella. Panda fella. Four, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 20, 40, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna get a donut, a donut tea. This is a fancy place. But these donuts are like 50 cents a piece. Mm-hmm, donut tea. Look at this. Get me a fresh one. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes, yes. Right. I'll do it. You right here, you don't mind. All right, we haven't tried the donut yet, but this place is amazing. I think the saying is let them eat cake, but she's 
upstairs let them eat donuts. Look at this. We can eat a donut. Yes, oh, check that out. That's incredible. We can people watch. Look. Yes. Do a dramatic donut spin. I gotta eat this. You're the honey, you're the jelly to my donut. Oh, thanks, love. I don't know where you want to put this stuff. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about a thing. Honey. You're so creative. You drive me glazy. Okay, we're heading to Javier's for lunch, 11 o'clock, salsa. It might be 11.30, but I'm not sure. Meeting Brother Tom, Sister La Linda. We're gonna make it happen. We're gonna have some great food. We're gonna have some great company. We're gonna have some great fun. We're gonna live our blessed life. Amen? Amen? Amen. And then we're gonna go to Fountain Blue. All right. And maybe Resort World. Can everybody look this way? I want to get everybody's 10 second impression of Javier's. Tom. Outstanding. You still have nine <laughs> seconds left. <laughs> <laughs> Always great. Best margaritas you can get. Okay, you went you went over time. <laughs> Linda. Love the margs and every single thing we had from the ceviche to, and I'm probably pronouncing it wrong and your people are going to yell at me. Ceviche. Ceviche, 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 ceviche. Outstanding. Everything was so good. You okay. were definitely over time. However, we're going to give you a pass. Thank you. I was tempted to pull the red flag. Four. However. Four. Talk to me. You went over 10 seconds. But <laughs> you were... Trying to help Cannot people limit. with the pronunciation. Limit okay. My time because I just have a lot to say. Uh, uh, you know, I have. There you go. <laughs> Honey? Fantastic. Service was great. Food was excellent. Would definitely recommend. Oh, I didn't do it. Okay. I have nothing to say about it because you guys covered it all so eloquently. <laughs> all right. Very good. All right. I would say we had Savikia. <laughs> Did anybody say anything about the salsa and the chips? Oh my gosh, the salsa and chips, best. You could just go there, mark salsa chips, fantastic. Be I so agree. Happy. Go to Javier, sit at the bar, get salsa and chips. Fantastic. All right, we're going to head and over there. They're not there. stingy with their salsa. And no, chips. they keep bringing in. It's like flows like the Coors Light out of the Rocky Mountains. Okay, we're going to head over to the Cosmopolitan. Yes? Mm -hmm. Yes? Crystal bar? Or yes. Chandelier bar. Chandelier bar. Uh -huh, uh -huh. All right. Shopping with Heather. <laughs> no Ross. All right, we're going to kick back here at the Chandelier Bar and have a cocktail. Heather and Linda detoured into Ross. So Tom and I are going to have a cocktail at the Cosmopolitan. Heather's on a mission, gotta find some deals. Walking through the aisle, she knows just how it feels. Searching for the perfect dress, she won't settle for anything less. She's
got style and she's got taste What's is her happy place Shopping with Heather Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever seen a unicorn or a unicow? This is similar. Look at there's Linda and Heather come back from Ross and they have no bags, no purchases. There's a better chance of hitting a super grand jackpot than seeing this. I will be Buffalo King someday. I don't think I don't think you can do it. I would I would advise that you try. I'm going to. Ladies and gentlemen, we it's not funny. have just ran into earring back cam. Shut up. This is earring back it's cam, folks. Funny. This is I want you all to see this because Stop. later this evening. Y'all gonna witness this. This is it's my fault. This will be my fault a little bit later. Stop the madness. There it is. Look it. Ha. Show them. Got it right there. There it is. Thank God. Stop the madness. Look at the spear. I could sit here and just watch this mesmerized for days. I want to stop right now and do a little recap of the day so far. So, I got up early this morning. As you know, I don't sleep very well. And today was no exception. 4.45 a.m. Got out of bed, took a little soak in the tub with some Epsom salts. Uh, jumped in the shower, got dressed, went downstairs. I was downstairs before Starbucks opened. I beat Starbucks. Pretty amazing. But then they opened, so I got myself a uh, salted caramel cold foam. Played a little bit of slots. It was a pretty routine morning. Got myself a hand pay. <laughs> no, nope, that's not routine at all. In fact, that's amazing. I couldn't believe it myself, but it was awesome. Heather then came down. She was playing slots. We had a great time. And then we headed over to the Aria to meet my brother and his wife for a little lunch action at Javier's. I call it lunch. But as you saw, it wasn't really lunch. It was full-blown dinner, salsa, chips, margaritas, steaks, and, oh, geez, chili rellenos. And so after that, we walked over to the Cosmopolitan. My, my brother and I went straight to the chandelier bar for a cocktail. Heather um, got sidetracked. She got a little distracted because we had to walk by Ross, so she detoured. And her and Linda went into Ross. And they joined us. We hung out at Cosmo. Came back to the Palazzo. And now we're all dressed, ready to go over to Fountain Blue for a dinner at Mother Wolf. We told you last time how great it was. I can't wait for it again. We're going to meet my brother and his sister-in-law at Fountain Blue. Now, if I am dubbed the king of the buffalo, then my wife Heather is the queen of the quick change. We got back here to the room 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes ago. And she did this transformation and man, check this out. 10 minutes and she turned into this. Look it, go ahead, pet your collar. She's I'd like to mention that this is faux fur. No animals were injured during a video of this broadcast. So, yeah, we came back to the room. Oh, before we got ready, if you remember, we had a little earring back cam. A little earring back gate, we'll call it. Luckily, we found the earring back before Heather went outside and the door shut behind her to find out she didn't have a key. So we avoided all that. She got fed earlier, so she's not hangry. Are you excited about Fountain Blue? I'm very excited. Let's go. Just give them a twenty second blurb about what you're experience what you're expecting for the evening. Okay, so we have dinner reservations at six forty five. So we have two and a half hours, give or take, right now. And we're gonna go down to the Fountain Blue. We're gonna sit in really comfy, awesome chairs, have a cocktail, hang out, wait for Tommy and Linda to get there. Then we're gonna eat at Mother Wolf, which is one of our new favorite Italian dishes or places to eat. 
We're also going to have a couple more cocktails, hang out and probably go to Resorts World. So I'm pretty excited about this evening. I think what she was trying to say is we are about to make it happen. Make it happen with okay, We'll see you over there. <laughs> and a winner chicken dinner. It is time to eat. And where would you rather eat than at Fontaine Blue Mother Wolf Roman Italian restaurant? Now we ate there last trip and it was so good we had to do it again. So here we are at the beautiful entrance of Mother Wolf. This place is elegant, it's beautiful, the menu is extensive, it is top of the line service. And the interior with all the decorating, my goodness, it's a great, great restaurant. We both recommend it, two thumbs up for me, two thumbs up for Heather, 10 out of 10, Italian Roman. They have the open kitchen. You can walk by and check out everybody. Very busy cooking up all the good food. So here we are at Mother Wolf. It's time to eat. So let's see what we're going to order. I'll bet you it is tasty. Now, as far as I'm concerned, every great feast starts off with some bread. And this bread is to die for. Trust me, the outside is crispy, the inside is fluffy, it's worth the money. The homemade meatballs with the short ribs, oh my goodness, best meatball I ever had, seriously. And we got the Diablo pizza, my brother had the margarita pizza in the past, all the pizzas are great, the salami is spicy, the crust is thin and crunchy, and this Adabita spaghetti is spicy, 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 and finally, we got the rigatoni with the short rib ragu and the pecorino cheese. What a great meal at Mother Wolf. This entire Roman feast, including a few drinks, ran us $204.83. All right, everybody, that is gonna do it for day two of our Las Vegas trip. And now it's time for a few comments. And of course my reply. But before I do that, I just wanted to let y'all know that the website is up and running. If you want to make it happen with Don Hat, I shipped out my first couple this week. So you can jump on makeithappenwithdon.com, click on the shop button, and uh, go ahead and get yourself a hat. Uh, if you do, I hope you enjoy it. If you ordered one, and you received it, shoot me an email and let me know what you think, okay? So I'm excited about the hats. We placed another order. We got some new styles coming in in the future, so be looking for those. So let's do some comments, and let's start off with Mr. Motel because he cracks me up all the time. I just love his comments. Enjoyed the vlog, but if I'm still up at 6 a.m. and taking selfies, no telling what I'll find on the camera when I wake up. And I'm surprised that casino host didn't ask you if you were the Buffalo King. Cheers, y'all. All right, Mr. Motel was uh, referring to, if you get up early in the morning, you could take advantage of the selfie stations because there's not many people. You can get photos in front of the love sign and this and that. And of course, Mr. Motel said that if he's up at 6 a.m. taking pictures, you never know what you're gonna find. And I responded to him and I said, that could definitely be a career ender. And I know, I know that that casino host, the only reason I mentioned the casino host coming by and stating, saying hi and knowing my name was, uh, it was kind of impressive how it seems like the Venetian and Palazzo has stepped up their game. They got tons of new slot machines. Um, I'm gonna be honest, a little disappointed in the Cosmopolitan. Same games in the same spots. Same, same, same. Now, my brother says that the head of the Cosmopolitan got hired away by the Palazzo Venetian. And maybe that's true. And maybe that's why the Venetian has really stepped up their game. Hey, Mr. Motel, thanks for the comments. Keep them coming. You always keep me smiling. Next, I'm going to go with Aspie66. And Aspie says, great video as always. Kmart sucks. 
Rain Man. <laughs> yeah, if you remember in the video, I was being smart and I told him, I said I was, you know, Mike's shirt was from Kmart. So, as we know, they're closed. But, yeah. Yeah, Kmart sucks. Gotta watch Wapner. Shotty Babbitt. Thank you for that, Aspie. I appreciate your comment. Keep them coming. Everybody keep them coming. I hope you enjoy the new theme song, Make It Happen with Don Style. I hope you, and I even like more than the theme song, is the subscriber tribute song at the end. So live your blessed life because you are blessed. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Give it a thumbs up if you like our videos. Check out this slideshow and listen to the words because we mean every one of them. We love you all. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week when we continue to make it happen. It's a brand new day. Let's make some magic. Come with me. We're on a journey. We're on a ride. Together we'll conquer and reach new heights. Make it happen, make it loud We're unstoppable, we're so proud With every like and every share Our subscribers show that they care Make it happen, come on and sing With hearts of gold, we're spreading our wings You're the reason we're having fun We love all our subscribers, each and every one From east to west, across the globe, our channels grow, and don't you know, you're the stars that light up our screen, you inspire us, make our dreams gleam. Make it happen, make it loud, we're unstoppable, we're so proud, with every like and every share, our subscribers show that they care, make it happen, come on and sing. With hearts of gold, we're spreading our wings You're the reason we're having fun We love all our subscribers, each and every one From east to west, across the globe